Hello, this will be a tutorial on Apex Clothing and how to get that Apex Clothing asset from 3D Studio Max into Unreal 3. Something that's important to note about your material setup when dealing with clothing. If we go in here and we look at our materials, we've got three materials on this character. We have one material for the trench coat, which is our clothing, and we have two materials on the actual crash test dummy. His head, hands, and feet are one material, and his body is another material. So if we get in here and look, the, the body and the head are material IDs number two and three, and then the clothing is material ID one. Uh, this is very important that the material IDs are unique. If for some reason you have, you know, the material ID on the crash test dummy is one and two, and then the coat is material ID one, when you get into Unreal 3 and you bring everything in, uh, it's going to be a little bit confused and it's not going to get the materials in the right spot. So it's crucial to make sure that your material IDs are unique on a given character. We have our crash test dummy character here and to give you a quick little tour of the file we're going to go up to the layer manager and you can see that I've pre-set up the file with some useful layers um, that will help you kind of get through these things a little bit quicker and, and toggle things on and off. We've got a layer for the biped bones, the biped nubs, cape bones, clothing, crash test dummy, and then the max bones which are the elbows and the knees. So we're going to go ahead and select a biped bone and then we're going to put the character into figure mode from the motion panel. Now what we're going to do is just go over to file and export. And the first thing that we want to do is export FBX and this is going to give us our skeletal mesh in Unreal 3. Um, in versions 2010 and earlier I believe PSK is still supported. Um, however, in, in these particular tutorials, we'll be relying on the FBX format. And we want to make sure our smoothing groups are on, and you just want, want to make sure that your deformations are turned on in the FBX exporter. It's on by default, but it's, it's worth double checking. Our up axis is Z up for exporting from Max, since Max is Z up. So now what we want to do is export our APX file or APB file. Uh, so what we're going to do is go up to the file menu and export all. And then we're going to go ahead and navigate to where we want to save our file. And then we're going to change our file type to uh, physics or CTP. This is going to depend on, on what version of the plugin you're using. It's, it's evolving a little bit. And then this is the, uh, the, the old style exporter. It's just got a few options for uh, CTP, CTW, FBX, and hulls. Hulls being your ragdoll, so you'll want to have that checked on. And then this is the newer type of exporter that we're moving to that also exports the physics scene. In this case, we don't want to do that, so you can turn that off. And we're going to turn on omit mesh subpart names. And this is basically going to not append the mesh name to the file name when you export it. And then um, generally for iterating, I'll use an APX format. That way I can dig into the file since it's just XML and, and look at it and troubleshoot it. Um, when I start nearing a, a final version of something, then I'll, I'll move it over to an APB since it's binary and, and more efficient. So what we want to do here is we want to take our packages that we've included with our tutorial and we want to put them where UE3 can see them. So wherever your UDK game is, go over to the content folder and then test packages, make an Apex folder, then make a clothing folder 
and then go ahead and put those files in here just simply by dragging and dropping. Now that we have our crash test dummy and clothing file, the FBX and the APX file exported from 3D Studio Max, what we want to do is bring those two things into Unreal 3 and connect everything up. To make things a little bit easier uh, so you don't have to go and import a bunch of materials and textures and stuff and, and animations, what I've done is included a base animations package and a base materials package. Uh, the best place to put those in terms of this tutorial is into UDK game content, test packages, uh, Apex, and then clothing. Uh, the last couple folders you'll have to make yourself, put them there, start up Unreal 3, come to the content browser and make sure you fully load everything. Now I've got a bunch of materials that are pre-set up to work with our, our assets. So at this point now what you want to do is go ahead and right click in some empty gray space and select import. And I'm going to stick the FBX file into a grouping of mesh. And I'm going to title this package CTDM Max. And all the default options are, are good. And then with our APX file, I'm going to use the same package, ctdm underscore max, but I'm going to group it under Apex. And then I'm going to edit the name a little bit. So it's just ctdm underscore trenchcoat underscore m underscore clothing. Now we've got our assets into Unreal 3. And at this point, it's it's probably wise to go ahead and save your package. And I'm going to go ahead and save it in the same location as our base packages that we've included. Now open up your skeletal mesh. And the first thing we want to do is connect up our, our regular materials that go onto this character. So we're going to apply the two crash test dummy materials and then the trench coat material. Now something that's important to note about your materials that are going to be used on clothing is with your use with flags on the material, you need to make sure that they are marked as use with apex meshes as well as, of course, use with skeletal meshes. So we're going to go ahead and hook up the body material to material ID 2, which is the third slot. We'll go ahead and hook up the head to the material ID 1 slot, which is technically the second slot. And then we're going to go over to our trench coat grouping under base materials and put that in the zero slot. Now our character is all textured up. Now we're going to go ahead and open up our Apex node, and you can see there's a material slot here. And you also want to put the trench coat material here. And this is so that the Apex clothing knows what to draw when it's in, in physical mode. And in this case, since the trench coat for the graphical material is in slot 0 under your clothing assets, you want your, your clothing asset node to be in the... Um, you want your clothing asset to be in the, the same numbered slot under clothing assets, so it would be um, zero in this case. And then if we go over to our Anim tab and shuffle through some animations of the base animation set, you can see that we have interactive clothing on some, uh, some nice animations.